On this side we have an S Boston. Look at the size of the opening on the neck from the reservoir and compare it to the size of the opening on a Zippo. That opening dictates how many fumes get through to the catalyst head and this is a problem that all the Zippos have. For tools you're going to need something like this Dremel tool and what I've got here is it's a 5 or 7 30 seconds chainsaw sharpening bit however any of these types of bits this one's probably going to be too big to fit in there uh, it'll barely make it once it's done take your hand warmer and figure out how far in your bit is going to go so that you don't bind it up when you're going to start grinding this and then take your tweezers and remove a corresponding amount of packing from the reservoir. In this case I'm removing carbon felt that was previously installed. You're probably going to have cotton in yours in which case you can remove an appropriate amount of cotton. Now I can get my tool in there without getting bound up on my packing material. The number one precaution that you need to take before you start with any of these types of operations for personal protection is make sure that your spouse or wife is not home. Then after that your other precautions could be using some sort of protection for your hands if you're a bit of a fumble fingers and of course eye and ear protection and then you're ready to get going. Which can also underscore the need to make sure you've got your PPE all in place and on and if you do have to stop to check just make sure you take a look out the window and make sure that your spouse has not come back from the store or forgot something and came back from work and catches you in the act of doing this on the dining room table. I will not take responsibility if you end up in divorce proceedings and the cost of that. Once you've got the hole elongated and widened you'll probably have some really sharp shards sticking off the top of your neck so feel free to clean those up a bit and make it a little bit smoother. You're wanting to experiment with how high you've got the packing material in your reservoir. Excuse me for my fumble mouth. So after you repack your reservoir, have a look at how high up the neck the packing material comes and assess whether that's going to work for you. Then last, if you have old catalyst material in your head which is starting to turn brown like this is you might want to consider pulling that out you see how that's all getting brown and charred that's from usually contamination from the liquid fuel touching the catalyst and then burning I'm gonna put the spring in there we put the head back on Again, bear in mind, don't overfill your reservoir. That's one of the biggest mistakes people make is overfilling their reservoir. They have fuel dripping out because these aren't watertight by and large. And then they contaminate their catalyst, which then turns brown like that. There's the difference between how much 
airflow and fumes you're going to be able to get.